Hey guys, I do myself here, and today I wanted to take a look at iOS 11 Beta 2, which is on the gold iPhone, versus iOS 11 Beta 3. We're going to be doing some, uh, you know, performance tests, the battery test, of course, which is one of the things you guys wanted to see the most. That's going to be towards the end of the video, as I have a time lapse set up for you guys so you can see the difference. Now, I'm going to go ahead and boot up both of these devices at the same time, pressing the power button at the count of three. We're going to start with a boot up test. iOS 11 Beta 2 was, uh, you know, terrible at boot up, so let's see if Beta 3 improves that. So, one, two, three. Okay, so both buttons pressed at the same time. It looks like Beta 3, the Apple logo, showed up first. I do have another video uh, showcasing iOS 11 Beta 1 versus Beta 2. And the battery difference was about 35 minutes of on-screen time. It was a good increase in battery performance and overall performance as well. So if you want to check that video out, it's going to be in the links down below. As you can see here, iOS 11 Beta 3, boom, put it up rather quickly. So it took iOS 11 Beta uh, 2 by about, what, 3 seconds there. But the boot up times were a little faster. I see a little glitch here on beta 2. See how the status bar there is overlapping or the icons are overlapping? Not here on beta 3. Okay, let's begin. So before we get to the battery test, I just want to browse through the OS, just kind of scroll through the operating system here to see if there's any hiccups. Open and closing applications. Just kind of going into edit mode here. See if everything is uh, flowing just fine. Looks like so. Everything seems to be going uh, pretty good here for both betas. Let me go ahead and uh, tap here on the icons to see the speed on which applications launch. Everything seems to be working just fine. 3D touch here for the control center. Everything feels really, really good. Now, one of the things that was very annoying to me about iOS 11 beta 2, you see here the multitasker as I swipe away, I tap here, and the animations when you close an application would stick on beta 2. Well, that's been fixed in beta 3. So if you swipe something away, it would come back just like that. On beta 3 here, you can see that I can just swipe it away and the multitasking issue has been completely fixed, which was super annoying. I used to just get really bothered by that. Now it is beta software, I understand, but it was really, really annoying. Now here the notification center. Let's go ahead and swipe. Yep, everything as expected. So in terms of performance, overall browsing through the OS and all that stuff, you're not going to find that too many hiccups. 3D touch, everything is working as you would expect here on the iPhone 7 Plus. So I like to take the iPhone 7 Plus because it it is uh, the newest iPhone to support uh, iOS 11. So uh, I might do a video on the iPhone 5S if you want me to do that uh, comparison on the iOS 11 beta 2 beta 3 iPhone 5S, which is the oldest iPhone to support it. Let me know in the comments down below. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the battery performance. Last video, it was about an extra 35 minutes of on screen time. Let's see what we get from beta 2 to beta 3 in terms of battery. So here we go. Both devices, of course, charged to 100%. Both devices had Wi-Fi enabled, Bluetooth enabled. Brightness was up to 90% on both. And as you can see here, the same task were perform. Apple Music, downloading apps, watching videos, stuff you would normally do. iOS 11 beta 2 unfortunately performed better. We lost 25 minutes of on-screen time. Now, if you watch my previous video, we gained 35 from beta 1 to beta 2. Now, from beta 2 to beta 3, we lose 25. So overall, a uh, 10% increase of battery of on-screen time here for the iPhone 7 Plus from beta 2 to beta 3. Even though it did decrease, we did increase on beta 1 from beta 2. So you want to watch that other video overall at 10%. But in this video, unfortunately, iOS 11 beta 2 performed better than beta 3 with an extra 25 minutes of on-screen time. That kind of sucks. You would expect that a new software would perform better, but we'll have to wait and see for the next beta. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.